Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the custom template and dynamic content features of the Enfold team. We're going to create a custom post type called book. And then we're going to add some custom fields to this post type. And then we are going to create a custom template to basically display these custom fields in our template. You're going to need Enfold 6 and the uh, advanced custom field plugin to follow along this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, I made sure I'm using Enfold 6. You can check the theme version number in the Enfold, theme options, theme update tab. And then you can go to plugins, add new plugin to install the advanced custom fields plugin. Here we have a list of elements that support dynamic content. And here are the supported ACF field types. To use the gallery field type, you are going to need to use the advanced custom fields pro version. For now, we're going to use the free version. I installed and activated the advanced custom fields plugin. So now we can go to the ACF post types. Click add new so we can add our book post type. Okay, we created our books post type. So now we can go back to Enfold theme options, layout builder, custom layout and dynamic content, and we can enable this option. After we click save all changes, we should reload, reload the page. Now let's go back to the layout builder tab, scroll down and enable the show advanced options. And then we should um, insert our custom post type here. You can find the name here. So let's copy this book and edit here. So we can activate this um, post type for advanced layout builder. So now let's go back to our example and check what elements and custom fields we're going to need. It looks like we have a gallery element here. Here is a special heading element, a text block element, a button element, a tabs element, and social share buttons. On the details tab, we have author, genre, ISBN, language, print length, and publication date. So these are going to be our custom fields. So let's go back to our site and go to the ACF field groups and add a new field group. Let's call this custom book fields. Let's start with author. Then genre. For ISBN, for example, we can select the number field, field type. We have the language. Print length. And publication date. Let's add uh, three more image image fields so we can use them in our gallery. Let's call this one book image one. Book image two. And the book image three. What else we have? We have a button. It looks like it goes to an external link. So let's add a link type. URL and let's call this um, book URL.
it's very here is very important for the post type we should select the book post type so these fields show up on this post type and click save changes once again we are here i'm going to add a new taxonomy called author so we can use this taxonomy on the books page you can do this in the acf taxonomies add new polar will be authors singular author we cannot use um, author as the taxonomy key because this is reserved by wordpress so we can select book author and post types we select book Now we can go to books and create our first post. Here you can see our custom fields and here is the author um, taxonomy. So let's start with this one. Let's copy the title, switch to advanced layout builder. Our author is Enric Fold. Famous Enric Fold, genre is self-help. ISBN is a made up one. Language is English. Print length is 1412. And publication date is 2005. Okay. Let's add the, uh, add the featured image. This is our featured image. And here are the other images for the gallery. And we have the book URL. Book URL is bookshop.org. Bookshop hmm. It looks like that's it. Okay, so we created our first post so we can um, view this. We have nothing because basically the advanced layout builder is empty. So now we can go to Enfold, uh, new custom layout, and we can create the template for our book custom post type. Let's call this custom book template. So we have two columns here. I'm going to use this one. And okay, on the left, left column, we have a gallery element. Let's add the featured image ID. Let's copy it. Since we are using the free version of advanced uh, custom field plugin, we cannot use the gallery gallery field field type. So we are going to add the gallery manually. But this is easy. You can simply select the custom fields one by one, and then open paste bin or a text editor. Copy the name of the fields, the IDs, separate them by comma. And once you're done, you can paste all of them into the custom field image field. Save. Okay, let's click publish. So if we go back to our um, how to self help post. We have nothing so we have the custom layout this is the new element we add this element and select our um, custom book template and now when we update this we should see our gallery here we have the gallery let's change the styling to big image with thumbnail blow thumbnails blow and change the thumbnail columns to four columns. Okay, this looks more like it. Okay, what else we have? We have the uh, special heading element here. And it says about and post title. So let's write here about and select the title. 
and change the heading style to style modern and left aligned and then what else we have we have the description okay we added, we didn't add the description so uh, we can do this right now here we can go back to field groups edit the custom book fields and add a new field called book description and I'm going to copy basically this description let's refresh this page so our custom field is added yes it's here okay so now we can add the uh, the text block element and select our custom field here book description and then we have a button purchase plus the title so let's select let's type oops let's type purchase here and then the title no icons this is extra large and for the link we can select the um, book URL this looks good but the button is left aligned on the example so let's do that and then we have a tabs element in the first tab we have description And in the second tab, details tab, we have a few, a few custom fields. Details. Okay, what we have first, we have author. And then we have genre, I think. ISBN if I remember correctly yes so we enter this one and then we have the language print length and publication date And of course we have the uh, social share buttons and it says share this book so let's change this to share this book okay it looks like we have it when we are creating a custom layout template we can also preview by selecting a post in the underlying entry ID. For example, if we go here and select how to self help, then for example, if you open the gallery element, we should see, okay, I have to update uh, the template first. So now when we open the gallery element, we should see uh, custom fields from the um, self help post. 
we can also see the title here so if you would like to see the preview from a certain certain post we can select it here now i'm going to add another post to the books let's select this one dragon ball e by j drago let's switch to the advanced layout builder what's the name of this author john drago we select our custom book template and then basically fill fill the custom fields this is fiction this genre is fiction here's our ISBN language is English and 130 language is English and it's 132 pages and the publication date is this so now let's add our images Here are the images for the dragon book. So here is our featured image. So I'm going to select this one and then I will add the other images here. Let's copy the book description and the book URL is crazy.at Then we can go ahead and publish this post and when we view the book on the front end it has the same layout as the previous previous post So here we have our template. And finally, let's create a books page so we can display our posts. I'm going to use the masonry element to do that. And I will select the book author taxonomy. And here's our page and our posts with that we came to the end of this video if you have any questions about the custom template and dynamic content features please feel free to ask them on our support form and we'll be happy to help thank you for watching